The start of the BTRDA season also meant the start of the highly anticipated new 2016 Fiesta ST Trophy. Fastest through the morning stages would be Owen Rowlands and Tom Jordan. Owen on only his second rally, the Cambrian last year being his first event. It was a good start for Sam Billum and Richard Crozier. They end the morning with second place, having to get used to a change in car and a change to the wrong side of the car for both of them this weekend, a switch to left-hand drive. And it will be a further 25 seconds back to John Ambler and Doug Chivers. The battle in the middle of the results was close, even if Rollins was getting himself a good advantage out in front. Meanwhile, for Tom Eason and Mike Reynolds, it would be another 37 seconds back in fourth. But they did have a good advantage in that position themselves. Frustratingly for George Lepley and our world Jenkins, the end of stage three is as far as they would go. They retire with gearbox problems. So midway through the first event for the Fiesta ST Trophy, and this is how the times were looking. On to the second half of the day, and sadly for Sam Billum and Richard Crozier, there would be some problems in the afternoon, meaning it's third place for the pair at the end of the rally. And for Tom Eason and Mike Reynolds, it would be second. A good finish to start the season off well here in Landudno. Owen Rowlands and Tom Jordan then would take victory here at round one. Gearbox problems would provide a scare midway through the afternoon though. Foot into four right down cut, 46 left bank and turn up and right long. One hundred, flat four left, don't cut, forty, four right, post inside. So at the end of the event, the results in the Fiesta ST Trophy looked like this. Yeah, it's been a very good day with the, the new Fiesta Trophy with John and Ian Arden here, they've put together this really brilliant championship and happy to be involved in it and a part of it. Yeah, good run on the Cambrian. Yeah, very good. Yeah, it was um, very interesting. I, I enjoyed it very much. So it was for first forest round, so it's a good bit different tarmac. <laughs> we were just using it as a bit of a test today. Uh, just getting used to the car, getting used to the event, um, seeing how it went. We had a small uh, error of judgment um, on the fourth stage, just a little bit of an overshoot and put the wheel in the ditch. Uh, it took us about five minutes to get back out, but that, that was our biggest problem of the day. With it's not, it's not too bad, no damage caused, and still third in class, so good result to take away. Great championship, um, you know, done BTI for the last two years, and now the ST Championship's come on board with it. I think it's fantastic. Um, they're a great little car, and now there's somewhere for them to go. It's, it's great.